Hi, welcome to Bedtime Stories with OPL. I'm Miss Beth. Grab your favorite stuffy, get comfy, and let's get ready for a story. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful little cottage nestled in the hills near a quiet village. In this cottage lived Charlie. Charlie was bright and loved to read. He read lots of things, but his favorite things to read were history books and fairy tales. He was clever and knew lots of things about castles and knights and dragons. Dragons were his favorite. One day, he was sitting under a tree reading his favorite book when he saw his friend Lucy. Hello! Oh, oh, Charlie! Hi, Moosey. Are, are you all right? Why were you running? I have oh, something oh, oh, to tell you. It's oh. all right. Take your time. There's, there's no rush. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Why did I come? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw a monster. A monster? Where? Well, I was on my afternoon hike, you know. I always go to the mountain and walk around there to stretch my legs and get some fresh berries. You know, the berries at the top of the mountain are so delicious. I love the blueberries up there, but the blackberries are really good too. And the- Lucy? Yeah? You were talking about a monster? Oh, yeah, the monster. Yes, yeah, thanks. You know, when I get started talking about berries, it's hard for me to stop, like the other day when- Lucy? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Anyway, I was collecting berries and I saw smoke rising from the ground near the entrance of the cave. You know the one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I love that cave. We've had loads of fun playing in it. You remember when we pretended we were pirates looking for buried treasure? Yeah, I remember, but I don't want to play there anymore. I crawled over into the bushes in front of the cave, peeked out in from the side of the bush. That's when I saw the monster. <gasps> What did he look like? Whew. He was huge, he was green, and he looked mean. Whew. He had great big claws and great big teeth. He was asleep and didn't see me. So I crept back out to the bushes and ran down here to tell you. What do you think we should do? Hmm. Oh, Moosey, don't worry. Don't worry? Why not? It's only a dragon. Only a dragon? Only a dragon, he says. It's a dragon! Oh, they eat people, moose and cows. What do you know about dragons anyways that makes you so calm? Look here, Moosey. We all have things we know about. You know about berries. I know about dragons. I always told you that cave would be a great place for a dragon to live, didn't I? You did, you did. Although I don't like thinking about it then, I certainly don't like thinking about it now. Well, now that it has a dragon in it, I'm glad, and I hope he likes it. In fact, I think I'll go up there and introduce myself to him in the morning. What? Please tell me you will not. Why would you do that? He'll eat you. He won't eat me. I'll just go up there in the mor- No, wait. I can't. I have a whole heap of things to do in the morning. Hmm. I'll go up there tomorrow afternoon and meet him. Everything will be all right. Don't worry. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. And don't go up there without me. Dragons are very sensitive. And you don't understand them like I do. Don't worry. I won't. I'll find berries to eat somewhere else. What will happen when brave Charlie goes to meet the dragon? Where will Moosey find berries as delicious as the ones on the mountain? Tune in next week to find out. I hope you enjoyed our story tonight. We have these great stories and lots more like them at the library. Come find out where your imagination can take you. I'll see you next time. Sweet dreams! <laughs>